My name is Cotton Stevenson. The project was Stand. My name is Donna Wallach and my show is Free Our Minds. It used to be called Get Ready TV Presents. My name is Brandon Jones and I am an educator. Um, and I'm an educator for 15 years. Trami Krohn, Chopsticks Alley Talk. My name is Joe Flynn. I am the host of The Joe Flynn Show. Hello, my name is Dan Morales and my show is called Phobophobia TV. There are the stories I tell are all about intercultural relations and communications. So my show is all about different social justice issues. I'm passionate about justice for Palestine and Palestinians. Um, I run my own online education solutions company. What I do is I travel around the country. I interview authors, actors, uh, musicians, metal bands from all around the world. Uh, public access has allowed me to travel and, and, and film some amazing things. My show is that of upcoming horror movies, sci-fi, fantasy, movie reviews, and interviews. Chopsticks Alley Talk is made for Vietnamese Americans. We address topics that are interesting to that particular community. But it all got started when I met Mickey and she said, you gotta meet this kid editor. And he was in my class. <laughs> so, I've been working there ever since. So I went down to the local public access station and didn't know anything and just decided to, to give my volunteer time for camera time and to learn how to edit. It's basically with the thanks to Create allowing me to do my show. It's gotten to be known outside of just basically San Jose. I used to film a show and it would sit on the film for years but now we're much quicker about getting it edited. I think technically we have evolved because we have many more people who have helped us. Personally, it's been like a dream because I've met bands and done a lot of interesting things, traveled the country, seen a lot of things I would have never have seen without this show. The show has meant everything to me. The barriers that I face in telling our stories is really about the culture aspect. We are a culture that don't really talk about our feelings. We don't really address personal topics or topics that are difficult to talk about, such as domestic violence, the gay community, the disabled community. So there are things that my community is not used to talk about publicly. And to be able to overcome that and receive feedback that it is a positive thing to address, it's been really wonderful. Um, personally, I faced some barriers uh, with people at my high school that I graduated from. Um, they said I wasn't going to make it in life. Um, I had one particular teacher tell me that uh, he thought I was going to be looking out the four-story window of San Quentin. The biggest barrier was learning how to work the camera. <laughs> I spent a whole summer with my classmates in graduate school experimenting. Okay, guys. And next year is where the worst. Oh, you know that sound? Yeah. People don't actually believe that I'm actually a television host. They'll go like, what? You do a TV show? And I go, yeah. I do a local cable access show. And I'm very proud of it. And I'm proud of my shows. The only barriers that I've had is the public access label. The people think it's just a, a crappy show that you don't do any editing, you don't put no time into it. That's the, that's the biggest ooh, barrier that I've had to show people that the show is worth it, that we put time into it, that, that we make it the best we can, and that public access means something. It's not just church channels, and it, it can be so much more, and it has been for me.